So a couple of big moves kind of happened in 2023. And I think it really started with the acquisition of our subsidiary company, which is Metasports, um, which is a Web3 IP agency. With Metasports' vision, solidified kind of like a long-term vision and commitment to the Web3 gaming vertical. And for us, we knew that we had to stay relevant in Web3 gaming. You know, for us, user adoption may be slow on Web3 gaming, but it shouldn't necessarily hinder all growth altogether. The second part that we strategically decided on was really moving into creator economy and introducing new community verticals into our purview. In the middle of 2023, we launched a new program in addition to our Web3 gaming program, which was Creator Circle. So Creator Circle really focused on the Web2 creator economy, community owners that basically had their own existing fan bases that we could apply the same community technology to, right? So that was very, very important for us is establishing two programs and being able to simultaneously grow in both community verticals. This also opened the door for our next, and I guess the major milestone of last year, which was nailing down our enterprise partnership. Once we'd set up these two programs, we were able to go off to pitch to one of the largest telcos in the Philippines, which is Smart Telecom, and bring them in as our partner, basically, for distribution in the Philippines. For those that don't know Smart, they're one of two telcos in the Philippines with a very large distribution of 65 million users across a population of 120 million. So with more than 50% uh, penetration of the population. And they are the perfect partner, really, to roll out initiatives together with to be able to test the market and penetrate different communities that we weren't able to access ourselves just through our own grassroots activations. After Enterprise, the last piece of the puzzle really was getting down a singular product. So prior to this, we had multiple products running at the same time. But having a singular product allowed us to put all community verticals into this product and provide our same community tooling to all the different community verticals. And so that brought about the launch of Yay.Tech.